Because of Elon Musk, we have heard of SpaceX. Because of Jeff Bezos, we have heard of Blue Origin. But there is another company in the space industry that I don't think we have all heard of. This company has worked with SpaceX, Blue Origin, and even NASA. And it has helped build the infrastructure to help send astronauts to the moon, provide internet connectivity, radio and television services around the world, and provide geospatial intelligence for governments to help their troops in a time of conflict. Do you know which company I'm talking about? The company I'm talking about is Maxar. And it recently got purchased in a $6.4 billion private equity deal. In our October 2023 video newsletter called Ming Sites, which you should subscribe to in the link in the description below if you don't already receive it, we took a deep dive into the Maxar deal. We are happy to share it with you here. So stay tuned for our Ming Sites video newsletter. In this edition of Ming Sites, we will walk you through the Maxers deal, a recent deal where Advent and BCI are acquiring Maxar. We'll go through the history of Maxar, followed by the details of the deal, and then we will analyze the deal. So let's get started with the history of Maxar. Back in 2017, Maxar Technologies, a company in the space industry, was officially formed when a company called MDA acquired a company called Digital Globe and rebranded to Maxar. Now, before 2017, some of the company's achievements included developing NASA's Houston facility for the Gemini and Apollo missions, building many advanced satellites that have been launched into space, and surpassing 1 billion square kilometers of Earth imagery. After the formation of Maxar in 2017, four business units existed, MDA, SSL, Digital Globe, and Radiant Solution. In 2020, the firm sold off the MDA business to the Canadian private equity firm Northern Capital for approximately $765 million. US dollars, that is. This sale helped Maxar reduce its debt and get the company ready to make strategic investments, which it did in 2022, when it made multiple investments, including the acquisition of Wovenware that increased its machine learning and 3D data production capabilities. In 2023, at the time of the deal that we're talking about in this video, Maxar has 90 Maxar-built satellites in orbit over 3.8 billion kilometers squared of high resolution imagery that it collects each day. And it partners with many businesses and more than 50 governments to deliver broadband communications, monitor global change, and advance space operations. So let's move on to the details of the deal. Advent International, along with minority investor BCI, the Canadian Pension British Columbia Investment Management Corporation, acquired Maxar in a deal for approximately $6.4 billion. The deal was announced in December 2022 and closed in May 2023. The Take Private deal delisted Maxar from both the New York Stock Exchange and the Toronto Stock Exchange. This was another deal where low public valuations attracted private equity investors. So let's analyze the deal. Investing in space and satellites is such a unique investment. You're looking at technology that is used to build the infrastructure to help send astronauts to the moon, provide internet connectivity, radio and television services, around the world and provide geospatial intelligence for governments to help their troops 
in a time of conflict. The technology can also help with maps for ride sharing, 3D flight simulators, and help media outlets get footage during global events such as wars to help people see what is happening around the world. One thing that I find fascinating is how companies need to work together to launch a satellite. For example, Maxar manufactured a satellite called Galaxy 37 Horizons 4 or G37H4 payload. SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched this satellite into space in August 2023. And Intelsat will use this satellite to offer capacity for television media and telecommunications network customers, as well as provide services for its US government customers. Investors, with technological innovations, decreasing launch costs, and increased interest by governments around the world in the space industry, there seems to be a lot of industry tailwinds to make the space industry an attractive investment. More and more private equity firms are investing in the space industry. In this video alone, we talked about private equity firms Advent and Northern Private Capital. Well, some other examples include AE Industrial Partners and Veritas Capital. Both made acquisitions in the space industry in 2022. AE Industrial Partners purchased York Space Systems and Veritas Capital purchased Case Space Systems. Investors, if this is an industry that you would like exposure to in your private equity portfolio, you don't have to wait for Elon Musk to sell SpaceX shares. There are quite a few private equity firms for you to invest with.